back to my channel. How you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing great. If you are new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you are also welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew this beautiful butterfly booboo -boo dress you're seeing on the thumbnail. So let's get started. So the, this is a fabric I'll be working with. You can see it's an Ankara. And the length is 45 inches, okay? So this Ankara should be 6 yards. Well, when I measured it, I noticed that it's 5 yards and 20 something inches. It's not up to 6 yards, but it will still be enough, more than enough, okay, for this style. So the measurement I'll be working with is shoulder. Shoulder is 16 inches. Then the bust point, remember bust point is um, 11 and a half. Then the round, um, round uh, bust is uh, 45 inches. The half length is 18 inches. The round waist is 40 inches. The hip is uh, 48 inches. Then the length of the dress is 60 inches. Uh, Hemel allowance is also included in that 60 inches. Okay, so let's get started. So please, if you are here to learn how to make this particular style, please watch this video from beginning to the end so that you won't end up asking me questions that I already explained in the video. Please don't skip the video. Watch from beginning to the end. Thank you. So I've already folded my fabric into four. Now remember that Ankara is forty-five. Some is it, you can see some that is a uh, 46 or 47, but this very one is 45. Okay, so because it's 45, what I need is to fold. You can see how I put this is the savage end. Can you see this is how it's supposed to be? But because the Ankara is has a short length, can you see? I folded this way, and you see this is I folded into two. This way, that is where the savage is, then folded again this way. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing to get the desired length. Okay. So another thing I want you to note is that this particular side, which happens to be where my shoulder and the sleeve is going to fall on, I'm not going to cut it open. I'll just go ahead, take the uh, neckline measurements and continue with my the measurement. Okay. So, the her shoulder is a, her shoulder is sixteen inches divided by two will give us eight inches. I'll mark eight inches. Can you see? At that point of eight inches, I'm going to take her sleeve length, and she wants her sleeve length to be eighteen inches. And what we have here is fourteen and a half. Okay. So meaning that the ruffle that is going to be at the, this at the side, I'm going to the ruffle that is going to be at the side will now be one, two, three. Will now be three and a half. Okay. Yes, it's going to be three and a half. So by the time we add three and a half to four and a half, it will give us 18 inches. Now let's see. This is where the measurement, the shoulder measurement end, eight inches. Remember it's 16 inches divided by two will give us eight inches. At that point. I take my the my client's uh, sleeve length, which is 18 inches, and what we have here is 14 and a half. So for me to make up for the 18 inches, I'm going to be adding ruffles as in I'm going to cut out a piece of fabric there and use it to do ruffles to to um add up to the sleeve to make it up to 18 inches. Of course, this the style you're seeing on the toenails has ruffles already, okay. So that's that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take the bust point. Please, not the chest line, bust, bust point. Remember, we're making a booboo -boo dress, okay? You don't, you won't use your bust, uh, sorry, your chest line measurement. That's the armhole. No, you are not going to use it. If you use it, you notice that the booboo -boo will be a bit tight around the armhole, which is not always nice, okay? So I'm using the bust point of my client. Her bust point is 11 and a half. So this is where 11 and a half is here, okay? At that point, that's where I will take her bust measurement. The bust measurement, remember, is 45 divided divide by 4 will give us the 11 one quarter. I'm going to add 1 inch is to that to give us a 12 one quarter. So this is where 12 one quarter is. Can you see? Okay. 
So the next measurement is our half length. Remember, I said the half length is 18 inches. This is 18 inches. Okay, this is where her 18 inches is. At that point, I'm going to take the round measurement of her waist. Her waist is 40 divided by 4. We give us 10 plus 1 inch is we give us 11. So this is 11 here. Can you see? So the next measurement is going to be hip. At that point, I'm going to take go down by 9 inches for her hip depth. And this is where it is, 9 inches. Okay, at that point, I'm going to take a round hip. A round hip is um, 48 inches divided by 4 will give us 12 plus 1 inch is will give us 13. So this is my 13. At this point, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to connect all this point. I've already marked the bust point to the waist. Can you see here? I'm going to make the marking to be visible because I'm going to sew on uh, this, okay? So, and this is the hip. Can you see? So, I'll still go ahead and remeasure and make sure that I didn't take the wrong measurement, okay? Uh, bust is um, 45 divided by uh, 4 will give me 1.1, 1. 1, 11, sorry, 11 and quarter plus 1 inch. Is will give me 12 and quarter, and this is our hip. Her hip is 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 plus 1 inch. 11. This is 11. Coming to our hip, her hip is a uh, 48 divided by 4 will give us 12 plus 1 inch. That is 13. So at this point, remember, I'm going to I'm going to determine where I want the butterfly effect to stop. I want the butterfly effect to stop five inches below her hip. Okay, this is where we have the hip. At that point, I'm going to go down by five inches, five inches and mark that point. So this is where I want her butterfly effect to stop. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, this is the five inches. Okay, I'm going to Bring my measurement uh, step to the beginning of the fabric and I'll bring it down to where I have that mark, which gave me 32 inches. Okay, so I'm going to mark the same 32 inches because I'm going to, I'm going to square that part. 32 inches. I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here. So at that point, I'm going to square it this way can you see that is where the butterfly effect is going to stop now coming to the hemline how do i determine the round hemline what i'm going to do is to divide my hip by four which is a uh, 48 divided by four will give us 12 inches you add five uh, 12 inches yes, you add five inches to that and that will give us a uh, 17 inches Okay, so coming to the hemline, I'm going to mark 17 inches. Okay, that is 17 inches. I'm going to connect it to where I have, where my butterfly effect is going to end. Okay, so I'll start from there. Can you see? I hope you are seeing this now. If you are not seeing, just follow my instructions. You understand. It's not difficult. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add allowance. So this part, I'm going to add allowance here, okay, just here, so that by the time I sew, I will not reduce the butterfly effect here. So at this point, where I squared it, please watch carefully. Let me bring it closer to the camera. At this point, this is the point I squared. The butterfly effect that is where the butterfly is going to end and you see i'm going to add i'm 
I'm going to add a one inch. That is a is serving as a sewing allowance. Can you see? This is serving as sewing allowance. So this will serve as sewing allowance. So I'm going to sew like this and come down. Do you get that? So not only here, I'm still going to add at this side. Now remember, we are going to, I'm going to add at this side so that by the time I sew, it will go this way and come this way. Remember, we are sewing on top of here, we're going to sew on top of the fabric and end where the butterfly effect ends. Then this one, from here to, the, to here, we're going to turn to the wrong side of the fabric to sew from this butterfly, where the butterfly ends, down to the hemline. Don't worry, I'll cut this suit so that you understand what I'm trying to explain. So what the next thing I'm going to do now is to take the neckline measurements. So... For the back, the neckline is going to be four inches by one inch depth. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to cut this out. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to remove this one, this back bone, so I can reshape the front neckline. So this is how to go about it. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to push this one inside, okay, so that it will just be the front that I will be cutting, okay. You can as well spread it out, then you cut. So you can do this. So for the neckline, for the um. Front. I want it to be 4 inches by 4 inches. Of course, we have taken out 1 inch. So this is where the 4 inch is going to fall on. So the next thing is to connect it back to this side, this way. Can you see what I'm doing? Please make sure you're not cutting the, the back or make sure you move the back out of the way. Like what I'm doing. So this is it. This is the back. Can you see where the back is? Now I push it in. This is it. This is the back. We are still we are still going to slash the center back open so that my client will be able to wear it without any struggle. So this is the front. Can you see? And this is the back. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut this. So before we cut that, we add our one inch thin uh, allowance on this side. I'm going to add one inch seam allowance this side. Remember, we only added at this side where the butterfly ended. So we're going to add at this side. So this is one inch, one inch down to the hemline. Can you see? I hope you're not confused. You see, so I'm going to cut it now so that you can understand what I'm trying to explain. So, this is it. And I'll go this way. Can you see? When I'm sewing, I will sew by one inch from here, from here, down. And I have to do that at the wrong side of the fabric. So when I'm done doing that, I will turn to the right side of the fabric and I will sew from here, down here, and stop there. Okay? But before I do that, I have to turn this to the other side so I can transfer this mark I have here to the other side. So I'm done transferring the markings to the other side. 
as you can see this is it and you see so the next thing i'm going to do now is to open up the fabric this way i'm going to fold into two in such a way that this front that you're seeing here this front neckline will now be at the other side look at the back neckline so that we'll be able to uh, splash open slash open the center back can you see So I'm going to lift only the back. Remember that the front is inside. That is the front neckline is inside. So I'll try to push it out of the way so that I will not slash it open. Can you see? So I'm going to open the center back. Can you see? So I want to measure the, the opening. So I have six inches, which is okay. Okay. So I'm done with the cutting. So the only other the only thing remaining is the buckle. We are going to pleat around the this uh, the around the sleeve. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to go and close this down part. This lower part from the but where the butterfly effect ends down to the hemline. I'm going to do that at the two sides, okay? And I'll come back and show you what to do next. So this is how far I've gone with the dress. As you can see, I've stitched these sides. That is the lower side. That's where the butterfly effect ends down to the hemline. Okay, and you see. So at this angle, I notch it. That's why it's looking so relaxed. Can you see? So from the inside, I notch it. Remember that we sew from inside. And this is the second side. Can you see? Can you see how it is? Can you see? Now I wish you can see the full dress. Now I'm coming to this part. That is the upper part. You can see I have stitch on top. Can you see? Down to where the butterfly ends. Can you see? I don't know whether you can see the, the seam line. Can you see? Look at this. Down to where the butterfly stop. And also at the side. Can you see? Down to where the butterfly stop. So coming to the neckline, I'll finish the neckline using the bias tape as you can see. This is the front. Can you see? This is the inside. And this is the back. You can see I use bias tape to finish up the opening can you see looking so neat and I also fix a button can you see looking so neat so what is left here is the 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 ruffles that I'll, I'll be fixing here so for these ruffles you have the choice of using a, a is either you use nets like the other style you're seeing on the thumbnail or you use the same fabric my client wants me to use the same fabric, so I'm going to be using her fabric. And what is left after cutting this dress, what is left is 2 yards and uh, 12 inches. That is what is left. So what I did is to cut the top of the... I didn't cut it from the side. I cut it from the other savage. You understand? Because this the length of this butterfly is, is 32 inches on each side. This side is 32 inches. The back is 32 inches when you open it up like this is 64 inches okay so each side i should be cutting like a 64 on each side here we take 64 here we take 64. now remember that when we measured our sleeve lengths the sleeve length we're supposed to have is 18 inches but because the fabric did not get to 16 inches and again because we are going to be fixing ruffles the fabric stock at 14 and a half 
14 and a half, okay? So we need extra um, four inches to add to that because that half that is remaining is for stitching allowance, okay? So we need extra four to join to, uh, to when we, jo uh, we need extra four inches of fabric to add up so that it will be enough for the length we want, okay? So I've gone ahead to cut out this top part, can you see? So what is left is, you can use it for scalp. So this are the fabric I cut out. So each side of the of the fabric needs two. So each side two, each side two. So this is it. So each piece is 64, each piece is 64, each piece is 64. I have four here. Okay, so two for each side, two, two for each side. So what I'm going to do is to get two like this. I'm going to join the two. Okay, I'm going to join two like this and the other end this way. Then I'm going to match it up with the top part and the down part here. Then I'll please round. Okay, so when I'm done doing that, uh, I'll come back and show you the finish look. So I'm done fixing the ruffles as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to weave it round. Okay, so this is one side and this is the other side. Can you see? Can you see? So another thing I want to show you is that you have the choice of curving this your butterfly effect. That is this end part. You have the choice of curving it if you don't want it to look straight this way. Okay, you can just give it a little curve here, just here. Okay. So another one is the second style we are seeing on the thumbnail. You know that it has rough. Uh, the one they use a fabric to do and the one they use net to do. So how to do it is just to make sure that when you are cutting your net, make sure that your net is going to be longer than this first one, that is this piece, okay? Then you are going to pleat it. You are going to hold the both your fabric, this very one and the net together, making sure that the net is longer so it can come out, okay? Then you weave it round. You have to hold the two of them together first, okay? Weave the two of them together. Sorry, sew the two of them together then before you start pleating, okay? So by the time you're done pleating, you have this effect of your um, your net showing from under, okay? Just like the picture you're seeing on the thumbnail, okay? But my client wants hers to be like this without no nets. So this is how it looks on the mannequin. So the width of these uh, ruffles is a four and a half. Four and a half because I use half inch, uh, half inch to stitch it to the body of the dress. Okay. Let's see. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one.